In this story, I inhale a fragrance. I'm Joanne Green. It's 1968, and I'm in the ninth grade. Just a brief whiff of his nip, a tiny sniff of that soft pink skin laced with perfect platinum peach fuzz, launched a reverberating chain reaction of unprecedented sensation, an orchestra of strings swelling, chills rippling up my arms and down my legs. Is this normal? Is it merely a scent that's hurled me into an alternate universe? Rendered me helpless? A mass of quivering flesh? On the precipice of out of control? At the mercy of who knows what? What's happening to me? This is way more than what I felt at age 10 in the Coolidge Corner movie theater, watching A Hard Day's Night when Paul, he who needs no last name, looked directly at me. I loved the Beatles, but Paul had stolen my heart. How in the world could his grin, the way he cocked his head to the left, make my stomach flip upside down in a way that was so much better than any roller coaster or when someone ran their nails up and down my back? But this, these electrocuted nerve endings, this sudden I don't know who or what I am and I don't care, as though someone changed the channel, took over my mind and body all at once, replaced it with what can only be described as temporary euphoria. Meadows filled with bright yellow flowers swaying in a warm breeze. Technicolor rainbows and a million shooting stars. Sunlight glinting on freshly fallen snow. How could a fragrance, an odor, a simple smell trigger such a phenomenon? Pipe down, Shakespeare. It's just a product, for God's sakes. A liquid formula created in a laboratory and mass marketed to men and boys everywhere. Is it possible that it only has this reaction on me? Could this unique mix of chemicals somehow be awakening hidden sensory receptors in my body alone? Or perhaps I've discovered something. They'd have to redo their ad campaigns. But if it could do this for others, how could they sell this in stores? Its power is too great. And if they did, how could anyone afford to buy it? No price would be too high. And yet they named it. After a savagely violent person or animal. Yes, that's what had me in its grip. Something fierce, uncontrolled, primitive, uncivilized. Just one word. One word minus the final letter. The culprit was brute. 